I'm gonna say one thing. That massage owe me nothing. The way that my anxiety is set up. All I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, you know I'm crazy over you. We are about to go to the nail shop to get a pedicure. Bam, bam, bam. As y'all know, my hands DIY. I can take care of them. Boop. My pedicure, I do that too at home, but for whatever reason, my polish don't be as perfect as a nail shop. And I kind of just want to get pampered too anyway. So I'm on my way to the nail shop after work now. Um, oh, y'all see, I got a vision of what I want to put right here. So I mapped it out. I hope it come out because I think, I think, I think I like it. I think I like it. Anyway, um, put y'all down real quick. So I gotta find the rest of the pieces of my camera. Uh, I'm not gonna need this anymore. Yeah, y'all, I don't know if y'all remember, I told y'all last night they had two brushes in the restroom. Sure did take one, absolutely. I'm traveling, you know, less stuff I gotta move with. And everything else can stay. I have a head scrunchie just in case my work phone I no longer needs. All right, let's go. Okay, guys, we're done with our petty. Eh, eh, eh. Um, I'm hungry now, so I'm about to go home and cook. All right, I'll see y'all later. Hey, y'all. Okay, so it is Tuesday. Hey, hey. So we're still in Leo season. Anyway, yesterday I went and got my pedicure, and that was not as relaxing as I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't know. Like I may need to find a nail shop or whatever. She did a good job. Don't get me wrong. She did a good job, but the ambiance, the vibes wasn't given yesterday. Um, but anywho, I think they knew it too, because they gave me a, uh, a little card that had like, uh, I think like $5 off or something or whatever for next service. So anyway, anyway, yeah. So I did my pedicure yesterday. Um, my nails, I still have my press on, so I'm good with that. One came off, but heh. today I actually scheduled myself a massage. If you guys saw the last vlog, I surprised my friend and my sister to a uh, to a massage, and y'all they were raving about it. Unfortunately, I just didn't catch it on camera, but they were raving about. The techniques and what they did and how they felt after all of that. So I was like, I want to know what that feel like. So I booked myself a, a massage. I need it physically and mentally. Physically, I'm just all tight overnight. And mentally, I just need to kind of like relax. Hopefully it does kind of put me in a zen spot. If not, after the massage, I'm definitely coming home to do yoga. Another reason why I feel like I need this massage is because my friends um, text me or call me because it's, it's like two or three of them. We're like, hey, what are you doing on this date? Um, we're going to go to, well, they didn't tell me where we're going to go. They were like, we're going to do something for your birthday. And I was like, but that's not my birthday. So why? They won't give me any details. They won't tell me who's all going. And any of that and I have in the past I would allow such things but y'all the way that my anxiety is set up now mm -mm. I literally just don't want to be around anybody who I don't want to be around I know that sounds harsh but it gets to a point somewhere between the line you have to set boundaries for yourself you have to protect your peace 100%. And I want to be around people who I truly want to be around, who I know for a fact 
is going to ride out for me. It's going to console me. When the times are bad, they're going to be by my side. When the time is good, we're going to celebrate. No jealousy. You know, I, 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 like all of that. Um, and not saying that there are some people who, who are like that. I just don't want to risk it. Nor do I want to be in a vicinity around people who I barely know. Just to kind of like fake the event or just ride out the vibes. For me, if I'm not feeling it or whatnot... I'm going to do a good old Irish goodbye. Hopefully that won't be needed because my friends should know me enough. I hope, but we will definitely see. I think this here it is. Like for my man to say, hey, get dressed. I'm going to pick you up and not give me any details or meet me here and not give me any details. It's completely different from your friends, parents, you know, other people to say, Hey, we're going to go X, Y, and Z. I'm sorry, what? What? Anyway, y'all, for me, it raises my anxiety. I'm going to get over it overnight, but I definitely have my exit strategies. I'm driving my own car, and I'm not going to be a stranger of an Irish goodbye. And for those who don't know what an Irish goodbye is, basically, you leave an event, an area, an opportunity without saying anything to anybody. Anyway, y'all see my curls? I'm so surprised. This is like day, what, four? And my hair is up to par. So using these little silk scrunchies right here, I just like grab a piece of my hair. So I grab a big chunk and I just put it around really, really loosely. And, and honestly, I just, sh just shook my head out and it came out decent. I'm so surprised. And after this massage and a couple more days of this hair, I'm going to retwist it or whatever, but it looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm rambling. I'm excited for my massage. So let me go. Okay, guys, I'm here. So. I just made it inside. I'm about to derobe and get ready for my massage. So I actually have booked more time. I got the 90 minutes, so I hope I come out relaxed. I must say one thing. That massage owed me nothing. Mm, 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 mm. I'm ready to go sleep. I'm ready to go lay down. Good morning. Uh, okay, so today is Wednesday. It's last day of July. Thank goodness. Um, it's like. 8 20 in the morning I'm on the way to a doctor's appointment that got rescheduled unfortunately i have a couple back-to-back -back doctor's appointments i have one next week one on tomorrow or friday morning around the same time and then based on one of these appointments i may have an additional one and these are all like just um, annual checkups, follow-ups. I'm going to try to bring y'all in my doctor's appointment as much as possible. Or at least into like the waiting room. Y'all, so I made it here. Um, and of course, a little, one of the little rooms waiting on a doctor or whatnot. Um, I got my blood pressure checked as well as my weight. Now, let me say this. The one office that always gets your weight wrong is the doctor's office. Because, man, where are these extra pounds coming from? I literally just weighed myself on two different scales before I came here. What? But anyhow, maybe it's just me, but I feel like every time I go to the doctor's office, I never get my weight right. Never. Just like my height. But, anywho, yeah, so I'm in here waiting for the doctor. I don't know if y'all remember or if I even edited my vlog, but um, in like 
June. So like May and June, I was running a lot. And I was setting challenges for myself to do like 60, 70 miles a month or whatever, just to like run, jog. And my knee was killing me. So I had scheduled appointments so I could come and get my knee checked out overnight. But then I had stopped running. And then it been raining like almost every day in July or extremely hot. So we're now finally here. So hopefully she has some good news that it just probably needs to be like iced and you know, like something I can do at home and not need extra stuff. Maybe just a part of me being old or getting old. I don't know. Either way. So <gasps> we'll see. Hi guys, I am done with my appointment. So um all is well. So apparently my doctor, she wants people to come in every six months for their like annual exams and stuff like that i don't know if that's a thing unfortunately like i haven't had a pcp in a while so i don't know but also because um of the disproportionate opportunities and health benefits for black individuals i'm not going to refute of uh, coming to a doctor every six months i mean better safe than sorry right so yeah but y'all why why did i get st stuck obviously it's on my arm twice twice the first time she said my vein didn't catch and then the second time it just went but y'all i'm one of those people who do not like needles in terms of like getting stuck uh getting my blood drawn things of that nature but if you say that's gonna get a tattoo, oh, let's go. And I will watch you do it. So crazy. But anywho, random conversation. Um, I'm hungry, so I am about to actually just grab something to eat, find a coffee shop before I go back to work. Y'all also while I was in there getting stuck multiple times, the lady who was drawing my blood or whatever. She was telling me about this place called PJ Coffees of New Orleans, which is literally like the shopping center in front of the doctor's office. It basically is like in the same vicinity. It's like walking distance in a sense. Um, anyway, she was talking about this coffee and they have beignets. So guess what my big back self about to go to PJ Coffee. So I'm waiting on my coffee right now and the course of beignets. So, oh, and I got a sandwich too, um, like a turkey sandwich, turkey bagel, that's what it is. So um, as I wait for all that to get toasted and made and all of that, I'm a color. a matcha I should have said iced but I get um, uh, a matcha latte with almond milk no dairy at all so I actually like again I should have got this as ice but putting ice on it at home is not gonna kill me today Ooh. oh oh this may be better than Starbucks and that other coffee shop that I went to before. Mm. Okay, the matches are competing, y'all. My camera completely bit off the dashboard. Y'all, so these beignets, are good but i don't know how people eat this every day i don't know if they're supposed to be thick i'm getting powdered sugar everywhere ain't gonna complain that i need my car cleaned again these beignets is making another excuse for me to go to new orleans and 
I gotta make that happen real soon. Real, real, real soon. Okay, so these appointments was actually set in May, y'all. So since May till August, today's August 1st, these appointments have been scheduled. Upon scheduling these appointments, it was questioning of why I wanted to do X, Y, and Z. I told them the reason why I wanted to do it. Um, I got a call on yesterday. Oh, so let me back up. Sorry. This is me maybe ranting or just going off, but I got to tell y'all my experience when it comes to it comes women's to health women's and all health of that. Like, Because basically... I'm documenting, I'm documenting my document fibroid journey. My so journey. then yesterday I got a call from one of the people at the office, like a nurse or something. It was like, oh, um, you just you just had an ultrasound. Why do you want to come back? Excuse me? I have the freedom to see what's going on with my health. Like, what do you mean? So anyway, I go anyway. I go this morning. It's heavy traffic. So let me pause really quick to say. No, stop moving to Houston. We, we full at capacity. Anyway, we back. Anyway, so I walk into my doctor's appointment and I acknowledge that I'm late. I tell them like, hey, I had an appointment, not have. I had an appointment at such and such time. You know, I know that I'm late or whatever. You know, um, let me know if I can still, you know, get my appointment or whatever. She's like, the lady in front is like, oh yeah, because you're late. Bitch, I just said that. I know that. So I'm already like, oh, all right. She's like, okay, well, let me go in the back and ask the tech, the ultrasound tech, if she can, if she can take you. Bitch, ain't nobody in this office. She comes back and says, the, the tech said she was going to make a one-time exception. I said, no, 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 no worries. You don't have to make a one-time exception. Just tell the doctor to send me to another place externally so I get my ultrasound. Yo, y'all literally just got the ultrasound system like last year. Stop. And I've been coming here since Stop. 2020. If but you yes. don't want to service me or whatever the case may be, just say that. But don't try to continue the, the, the appointment. Um, I'm and also, like, but when she asks me questions, I answer. So I oh. ask like maybe one or two questions or whatever. Basically, two type of ultrasounds. One that the probe is on your stomach and then the other ultrasound when there's another probe that's inserted she comes in the room she speaks i speak or whatever and i'm asking her i'm like hey i just want to talk about my fibroids like from the beginning to really get a clear picture of how i got here and if the methods that i'm doing on my own if they're really helping because because i know that we're doing well as you know that i'm doing the holistic approach i don't know she heard me because she continues to talk and she's going in telling me about um, she tells me about my results from the last ultrasound we did from today's ultrasound. And I'm just like, wait, 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 can you can you hold on? Cause I'm writing down. I it's literally had my hand with a pencil, same pencil. And I'm literally like trying to jot down. I said, okay, hold on, hold on. Can you can you slow down for me? Because I'm writing everything down. Like I'm trying to take full notes. Girl, she goes in and tell me, well, the last time you were here and you were just here six months and da da da. Girl, okay, let me wrap up my story. Either way, y'all, I did not have like a good experience this morning, and it's unfortunately because I've been going to this doctor since 2020 and i went to her because of a past previous experience that i had with another OBGYN. i went to her let her know like my concerns the reason why i was trying out another OBGYN, etc cetera, etc cetera. and then here you come with this little nasty attitude and on top of that if you know that someone has some type of struggle with their um with their health have empathy for people you don't know what they're going through regardless with fire boys or not i said all of that share my experience and basically tell y'all this when you are in these situations with these doctors and something don't feel right they're not they're not answering your questions they're rushing you run 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 so the advice i'm giving y'all i'm giving myself too i'd rather have somebody like is going to treat me and my with some respect Rather than going somebody like allowing insurance or myself to continue giving somebody money where you're going to disrespect me in some type of way. Like you just don't care about things and you're giving me only options what you want to give me. And when I ask questions, you don't know the answer to. No, we're not doing that no more.